know what? That's just not right now, for mm -hmm. real. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, no, I, I mean, and, and, and it all starts with, um, for real, just, just when it comes time, you have to grow, you know, yeah, and yeah. having that foundation and, and understanding those those simple principles that now are going to li literally connect you and carry you along the way, which all you know um, boils down to that to the to the energy that you end up giving off. But one thing that I want to touch on before we move uh, uh, further was that physical. We talked about the physical, the body, but mm -hmm. even when you think about location and environment and the energy and making sure that you literally are in control of your environment and the and the energy that is exuding from that environment. And I can tell you that, you know, many times you just may have to just get up and, and shift the atmosphere. I can tell you that's what we do first thing in the morning. We wake up and we, we thank God for another day and we do what we do spiritually, um, physically, uh, emotionally to grow and to develop ourselves. Uh, personally, but also we get up and we, we turn things on in our house. Our kids listen to personally. We have a blast and all we got speakers you know, all over the place. And, and even just putting on certain songs. You guys heard me the other day. There's certain songs that really just feed my spirit and I, I listen to them. It's over and over and some people may think I'm crazy, but hey, this is how I'm able to shift my atmosphere and to make sure that I am really decreasing in life in order so that I can increase. So I decrease so that I can increase in order to be, be able to really listen to what God is telling me because many times he'll be speaking, he'll be telling us exactly what we need to do, but we can't hear it because we're listening to all of the other outside noise. And many times what ends up happening is we don't act accordingly. So that physical environment shifting, making sure that you do what's necessary in order to put yourself in an atmosphere, in, in an environment that's going to cause you to grow is very important. That's kind of one of the reasons why Nate and I literally packed our bags and, and ended up moving our family. And it's because we realized that, you know what, the energy the, and the environment that we were in just was not causing growth. You know, it was like we were planted there but and, and we kept trying to water it, but the soil that we were planted in just was not the soil that we needed to be in. And many times in life we don't realize this and you know, you just never know what direction God is going to lead you in at any given point in time. But when you put yourself in the position to being able to hear and to listen for a little while, then he'll lead you and guide you and know you'll know when you need to, you know, take a turn. You'll know when you need to keep going straight. You'll know whether it's time to veer to the right or veer to the left because you're listening because you have to pay attention to the environment, the energy, and that physical location along with the physical body. Absolutely. Whatever you said, I know it was good. <laughs> uh, I had to, I'm sorry, y'all have to bear with us this morning, guys. We got somebody coming by to fix a major appliance that we cannot do without right, right now. So I had to uh, let him in. But, but nonetheless, um, I know we're on physical energy. And, and the big difference for physical energy, and the reason it's, it's, it's important, but it's, it, 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 it's not... I won't say, I don't want to say as important, but physical energy is physical energy and you need it, but we have to understand the correlation between the physical, the emotional, and the, the mental. Right. Because these next two are so, so very important because especially the emotional energy, because you can exert so much physical energy, okay, by having a, a, a bad diet or just not eating right or not taking care of yourself, or, and then you can you can exert so much emotional energy. And that's the one I really want to get to. Wait the minute, emotional. Though, before you get to that emotional energy, I just had something else when it comes time to that physical energy piece. Mm -hmm. That's how people connect to physical mm -hmm. the, the physical energy, the, the energy that you that you give off. Right. You know, um, for real. So you know, I just wanted to add that because there's so yeah. much you can talk about when it comes time to that that physical energy piece. It is. You and and it's yeah. the what do you call it? It's not so. What is it? The um. It's not the aura. It's the energy that you that you put off, but it's dang, it's another word. It's gonna come to me after a while. I know but, it's not that. But it's it's how you it's how you carry yourself and so your demeanor, everything about you is is in, is your energy, right? right? So let's just leave it at that. But so now we've talked about the physical. Um, the emotional aspect of this is so important because um, it can really these if if you don't handle the physical and the emotional, you it, it could it could. It could kill. It could kill the mental energy. Right. And we're going to talk about what happens in the mental energy because it's the piece to resist on. It's the cherry on top of the cake. It's how you actually progress mm -hmm. is in the mental, right? So the emotional energy that you exhibit 
and yeah, that you exert every day. Right, the frequency. I like that, guys. Thank you, Aaron Watkins. What's up, brother? <laughs> um, the frequency, your frequency that, that resonates from you, guys, is how people connect. Right. Right? So thank you so much for that. That's the word I was looking for. Right, that's right. So, so, so the emotional aspect of what we do, guys, can be so very damaging to us because if we don't manage our emotions throughout the day, um, when we open our eyes, our emotions are there. And the emotions can be anger, fear. Um, it can be, uh, 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 give me an uh, emotion, the da uh, anger, sadness. fear, sadness, uh, uh, happiness, uh, yeah, uh, anxiety, mm -hmm. things of that nature. If we don't learn to manage those emotions, then it'll end up, our energy will get zapped right there. And when you have no, when your emotional energy is so high, Every little thing triggers you and you get emotionally un unfit with every little thing and you, right. you take it all personally. It's like somebody constantly bombarding you with, with <laughs> hitting you with rocks constantly and not massaging there your you shoulders, go. but yeah. hitting you, shooting <laughs> arrows in you constantly. Right. And, and you're like, and before you can even get to the mental aspect, which is where your creative energy comes from. A lot of you are saying, why can't I create anything? Why do I feel like I'm stuck? Why do I feel as if I, 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 I can't really move to the next level? It's because you've allowed the physical energy and the emotional energy to zap and your mental energy. It's like you start such a fire over here that you can't even get off the ground with the mental. And people, and what you do is you start, you keep entertaining a lot of things. So let me give you guys a great example, okay? You control your energy. Mm -hmm. Point blank. That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Yeah, you Absolutely. control it. coming in control. and going out. Right. Okay. If you and some of you say, well, you know, I can't control what comes in. Oh, sure you can. You've got you've got control over your total energy because you are your own person. You are the boss of you. Remember, you control your own controls. So if you allow somebody to deposit negative energy into your life, that's your fault. If you don't if you don't have enough savvy to say, I gotta get away from this situation or get away from this thing, or get away from this person, if you don't have enough savvy to do that, then it will zap your mental energy. Right. And, and you'll be sitting there trying to figure that thing out, and, but you're inside the bubble and you really, you really can't figure it out. So, so your emotional energy is so important because now the example I want to give you guys, if somebody comes to you and they start talking about something that's not productive, mm -hmm. And we talked about on the last show, talking about being the, the initiator, the actuator, or the perpetuator of drama, right? Which is negative energy. Whatever you give your energy to throughout the day, what does it do, Pam? It, it's going to get it back. Grow. It's going to grow. It yeah, grows. whatever you give your energy to is going to grow. So if you give out negative energy, you're going to get negative in energy. So what you give out is reciprocal. So you, you, whatever you give out, you're going to get back. And right. so when you realize that, and I think one of the key words of what you said is you have to control your energy. You have to control your emotions. Don't allow anything to take you out of your, uh, uh, from losing your emotional control. Right. Because really and truly, you know, anything is about, anything that comes your way is about how you perceive it. For real. It is. It's about how you perceive those things. And so therefore, when you realize that, you know what, you have the, the power to control your emotions and you got to get that in check. You can't be emotionally unstable and be able to be successful in the things that you want to be successful in. But when you begin to understand that everything is connected and then we also will get into that mental piece and realizing that you know what, there's just some things that you got to tweak in order to make sure that you remain in control of your emotional status, not to let nobody take you off your game, to smile through, throughout it all, not to let any situation take you off your game, and to realize that you know what, hey, all we gotta do is get up and take the time to breathe a little bit, right. take the time to focus a little bit, take the time to understand, you know what, nothing happens to you, everything happens for you, and to just remain in total emotional control. But there's gonna be those moments in which, you know, you know, what, what about the, the, the moments in which people just, you know, they, they, they're not in control, you know? Right, well, I mean, Because that happens real yeah. talk. Yeah. You know, that happens to, to everybody at some point in time, because nobody's perfect. You're not just gonna be, you know, hey, every, every single situation where you, you just got it all together, no. But it's through, 
the things that you listen to. It's through the things that you decide to read. It's through the things that you put inside of you. Because and that you also, allow to come inside Right, right, you. right, 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 absolutely. Mm -hmm. But the things, when it comes time to grow, and the things that you're putting on the inside of you, because ultimately you, you are who, what's on the inside of you, and what's on the inside of you is going to ultimately show. So you gotta keep working on that thing yeah. every day yeah. in order to, in order to correct.